you're going to be using these animals called least common denominators the rest of your mathematical life I promise you so let's start at the beginning and get straight exactly what they are let's start with the difference between the words we're using factors and multiples a factor of a number for instance 3 is a factor of 30 it goes in evenly to 30 4 does not go in evenly to 30 so it's not a factor 5 is a factor of 30 it goes in evenly 2 is a factor of 30 usually the factors usually I say are smaller than that number because they have to go into it so those are the factors don't mix them up with multiples 60 is a multiple of 30 because 30 goes into it 90 is a multiple of 30 because 30 goes into 90 and 120 is a multiple of 30 as you can see there are way more multiples than there are factors if you really know what you're talking about here tell me what number is both a factor and multiple of 30 well that would be 30 itself let's do the same thing with 45. The factors, or some factors of 45, 3 would be a factor, 5 would be a factor, 15 would be a factor, 15 goes in, 9 would be a factor. These are all factors, are numbers that go in evenly into a number. Multiples are what the number goes into. 45, 90, 135 there's many more multiples of 45 now let's talk about common multiples we're not going to do factors we're going to talk about multiples common multiples of 30 and 45 would be multiples that are both a multiple of 30 and of 45 so if you see 90 is a multiple of both so it's a common multiple well another name for common multiples is common denominators we're going to use this with fractions so we call it common denominator but that's what it means common multiple now since smaller numbers are easier to work with we're going to want to find the least the smallest common multiple or we'll call it the least common denominator of two numbers and here's what you're gonna do you're gonna break each up I only use this word but we're gonna factor both of the numbers as far as they'll go and we have to go as far as they can go we want to use the word prime into its prime factors and then we're gonna actually construct a number that contains every factor from both sets. I'll have to show you how to do that. Let's do it. Let's find the least common denominator of 6 and 35. The smallest number that both 6 and 35 go into. It's going to be big, but we want it to try and keep it small. I'm going to break them up. 6 breaks up into 2 and 3, and they don't break up any further, so those are prime factors. So I stop. 35 breaks into, let's see, 5 and 7. And they don't go any further, so they're prime. That's the prime factorization of 35. Now, I've got them broken up. I've got to look at them. And let's do some construction. We're going to construct a least common multiple, or a least common denominator. I need a 2 gotta make sure everybody's there I need a 3 I need a 5 and I need a 7 I have I need one of everything don't I it's kinda of the union of the two sets and then I multiply what I have let's make make sure everybody's there 6 is there because there's a 2 and a 3 35 is there because there's a 5 and a 7. So 
6 and 35 are both factors of this number. So the smallest number that they're both factors of, or that the least common multiple, is 210. Now that one didn't end up being very small, did it? Let's try and find a smaller least common denominator, hopefully, of 20 and 15. Note that the smaller they are, the easier they'll be to work with. Well, let's break 20 up. I'll break them into 4 and 5. Now, 4 can go further. So I have to break it up so it can't break it up anymore. 4 goes into 2, breaks up into 2 and 2. And now I've broken up 20 as far as it can go, so I'll stop. 15 breaks up into 3 and 5. And neither of those can be broken up, so they're prime as well. Now I've got to make sure everybody's in this number, so it's time to, to construct the least common denominator. I'm going to put a 2 in there, and actually I need two 2's. I'm going to put a 5 in. Basically, I write the first number. Now, I've taken care of all the factors of 20. Now 15. I need a 3. Now remember, I'm trying to keep it small. I need a 5, but I already have a 5. So I'm done. I don't have to put another one in. So all I do is multiply what I have now, and I'll have the answer. Let me check to make sure everybody's in there. Let's take roll. 20's in there. 15's in there. So son of a gun, they must both go into 60, and 60 is the smallest number they both go into. It's the least common multiple, or least common denominator. Okay. Let's look at another one. 8 and 6. The least common denominator of 8 and 6. Well, we're going to have to break up and break up till we can't break up any more. And the prime factorization of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Now, let's break up 6. I think we're done. Let's construct this LCD. We need to have 8 go into it. So I'm going to need all three 2's for the 8. Now I'm good for the 8. Now I need 6 to go into it. So I need a 3 and I need a 2, but I already have that 2. So I don't need to add another. And these multiply to the answer. Let's take roll to make sure everybody's in there. 8 is in there. 6 is in there. So the answer is 24. And it makes sense. 24 is the smallest number that both 8 and 6 go into. Note that it wasn't just multiplying 8 and 6 and getting 48. 48 is a common multiple, but it's not the least common multiple. Hence, the not the least common denominator. Okay? We'll do another. 42 and 6. If I asked you for a least common denominator, once again, you'd have to break them up. 42 is 6 times 7. 6 breaks up further into 2 and 3. And there's your prime factorization. 6 is just 2 and 3. Now, this is a tricky one. Sometimes they're so easy they're hard. Let's construct that LCD. I need a 2, I need a 3, and I need a 7. Now, I need a 2 but I already have a 2. So don't add another. I need a 3, but I already have a 3. So don't add another. I think I've got the answer. Let's make sure. Is 42 in there? He is. Is 6 in there? He is. So they both go into this number. What is the number? Kinda weird, isn't it? 42 is the least common denominator of 42 and 6, because it's the smallest number they both go into. The reason is because 6 goes into 42. So that's the answer. 
sometimes one number just goes into the other and it becomes an easy answer. So let's get busy and do that homework.